The Indo-European language family is the world's largest and most widespread, spoken by over 3 billion people globally. Its origins trace back about 6,000 to 7,000 years ago to the Pontic Caspian Steppe, a region north of the Black Sea in present-day Ukraine and southern Russia. From there, early speakers migrated across Europe, South Asia, and parts of the Middle East, forming the basis of many modern languages. Major branches include Germanic, English, German, Romance, Spanish, French, Slavic, Russian, Polish, Indo-Iranian, Hindi, Persian, Celtic, Greek, and Balto-Slavic. Linguists have reconstructed a common ancestor known as Proto-Indo-European, PIE, using comparative methods and shared word roots. Indo-European languages share similarities in grammar, vocabulary, and phonetics due to their common origin. Over time, these languages evolved independently through migration, culture, and isolation. Today, Indo-European languages dominate international communication, science, media, and global trade, influencing the modern world more than any other language family in history. The Sino-Tibetan language family is the second largest language family in the world, spoken by over 1.3 billion people, primarily in East Asia, Southeast Asia, and the Himalayan region. It includes two main branches, Sinitic, which encompasses all varieties of Chinese, like Mandarin, Cantonese, and Hakka, and Tibeto-Burman, which includes languages such as Burmese, Tibetan, and Meitei, Manipuri. The family's origins are still debated, but many scholars believe it developed in the Yangtze River or Yellow River regions of ancient China over 4,000 years ago. Over time, speakers spread into mountainous areas and tropical forests, leading to a wide diversity of languages and dialects. Sino-Tibetan languages are typically tonal and analytic, using word order and particles rather than inflection. Mandarin Chinese, the most spoken language in the world, has had a profound cultural and political impact on Asia and beyond. Despite China's linguistic unification efforts, many minority Sino-Tibetan languages remain endangered, making this family both historically significant and urgently in need of documentation and preservation. The Niger-Congo language family is one of the largest and most diverse in the world, spoken by over 700 million people across sub-Saharan Africa. It includes more than 1,500 languages, making it the largest language family by number of distinct languages. Its origins are believed to lie in West Africa, possibly around present-day Nigeria or Cameroon, from where early agricultural communities spread south and east. A major subgroup of Niger-Congo is the Bantu branch, which expanded across central, eastern, and southern Africa, bringing with it languages like Swahili, Zulu, and Shona. Swahili, in particular, is a widely spoken lingua franca in East Africa. Niger-Congo languages typically use noun class systems, a bit like grammatical gender, and have rich verb morphology. They are often tonal, meaning pitch changes can alter word meaning. These languages carry deep oral traditions, cultural histories, and identity for millions. While many are widely spoken, others are endangered due to urbanization and dominance of colonial languages like English and French. The Afro-Asiatic language family is one of the world's oldest and most historically significant, with over 500 million speakers across North Africa, the Horn of Africa, the Middle East, and parts of the Sahel. It includes about 300 languages and is thought to have originated more than 7,000 years ago, possibly in Northeast Africa. This family is divided into several branches, Semitic, including Arabic, Hebrew, and Amharic, Berber, Cushitic, Chetic, e.g. Hausa, Omotic, and Egyptian, now extinct but preserved in ancient hieroglyphs. The Semitic branch is especially influential due to the global spread of Arabic and Hebrew through religion, trade, and conquest. Afro-Asiatic languages often feature root-based morphology, where words are built from sets of consonants, especially in Semitic languages. Many are also tonal and have complex verb systems. These languages have shaped civilizations, religious texts, and cultural identities for millennia. Today, they continue to thrive while also facing challenges from globalization and language shift in some regions. The Austronesian language family is one of the most widespread in the world, spoken by over 400 million people across Southeast Asia, the Pacific Islands, Madagascar, and parts of Taiwan. It includes more than 1,200 languages, making it the second largest language family by number of languages after Niger Congo. Austronesian languages likely originated in Taiwan around 4,000 to 5,000 years ago, before spreading southward through the Philippines, Indonesia, and across the Pacific Ocean, reaching as far as Hawaii, Easter Island, and New Zealand, and westward to Madagascar off Africa's coast. Major Austronesian languages include Tagalog, Filipino, Javanese, Malagasy, Malay, G Indonesian, and Cebuano. These languages are typically agglutinative, use simple phonology, and have inclusive versus exclusive pronouns, a unique feature in world languages. The Austronesian-speaking peoples were expert sailors and navigators, enabling this vast linguistic and cultural spread. 
Today, these languages remain vibrant and vital to identity, though some smaller island tongues face the threat of extinction due to globalization and shifting demographics. The Dravidian language family is primarily spoken in South India, Sri Lanka, and parts of Pakistan and Nepal, with over 80 million native speakers. It includes around 80 languages, with the most widely spoken being Telugu, Tamil, Kannada, and Malayalam. Dravidian languages are among the oldest in the Indian subcontinent, with literary histories dating back over 2,000 years. Unlike the Indo-European languages spoken in northern India, Dravidian languages have unique grammatical structures, including agglutinative morphology, where words are formed by adding suffixes to a root. They also typically follow a subject-object verb, SOV, word order. The origins of Dravidian languages remain debated, with some theories suggesting they were spoken widely across ancient India before Indo-European migration. Tamil, one of the oldest living languages, has a rich classical literature and is still widely spoken today. Dravidian languages hold immense cultural importance, preserving ancient traditions, literature, and identity. Despite pressures from dominant languages, they continue to thrive and influence the linguistic landscape of South Asia. The Turkic language family includes over 35 languages spoken by more than 170 million people across a vast region stretching from Eastern Europe and Central Asia to Siberia and Western China. Major Turkic languages include Turkish, Azerbaijani, Uzbek, Kazakh, Turkmen, and Kyrgyz. The family likely originated around 2000 to 2500 years ago in the Altai Mountains or Central Asian steppes, with early Turkic tribes migrating westward and southward over centuries. This migration shaped the linguistic and cultural landscape of regions once part of the Silk Road. Turkic languages are typically agglutinative, meaning they form words by adding suffixes to a base word, and they often use vowel harmony, where vowels within a word follow a consistent pattern. Most Turkic languages follow a subject-object verb, SOV, sentence structure. Today, modern Turkish spoken in Turkey is the most prominent Turkic language, serving as a cultural and political bridge between East and West. While many Turkic languages remain strong, others are endangered due to assimilation and political pressures. The Austroasiatic language family is one of Southeast Asia's oldest and most culturally significant, spoken by over 100 million people across India, Bangladesh, Vietnam, Cambodia, Laos, and parts of Thailand and Malaysia. It includes around 170 languages grouped into two main branches, Mon Khmer and Munda. The Mon Khmer branch includes widely spoken languages like Vietnamese, Khmer, Cambodian, and Mon, while the Munda branch is found primarily in Eastern and Central India, spoken by various indigenous tribal communities. Linguists believe Austroasiatic languages may have originated in Northeastern India or Southern China thousands of years ago. These languages are known for complex vowel systems, monosyllabic roots, and in some cases, tonality, as seen in Vietnamese. Many are analytic in structure, relying on word order and particles rather than inflection. While major languages like Vietnamese and Khmer have national status and large speaker bases, many smaller Austroasiatic languages are endangered. Preservation efforts are crucial to maintaining the linguistic and cultural diversity of this ancient language family. The Japonic language family includes Japanese and the Ryukyuan languages, spoken across the Japanese archipelago. With over 125 million speakers, it is a relatively small family, but holds significant global cultural and economic influence. The origins of Japonic languages remain debated, with theories linking them to Koreanic, Austroasiatic, or even Altaic families, though none are conclusively proven. Japanese, the dominant language, has a complex writing system that blends Chinese characters, kanji, with two syllabaries, hiragana and katakana. It is agglutinative, meaning it forms words by attaching particles and suffixes to root words. The language also relies on subject-object verb, SOV order, and has distinct levels of politeness, deeply tied to Japanese culture. The Ryukyuan languages, spoken in Okinawa and nearby islands, such as Okinawan and Amami, are not mutually intelligible with standard Japanese and are considered endangered due to assimilation policies and modernization. Today, the Japonic family remains a unique and vital part of the world's linguistic landscape, blending ancient traditions with modern global relevance.